<laughs> hi guys welcome back to the channel once again it's your girl Dumebilia. if this is your first time coming across my channel you're welcome i do hope you decide to subscribe and if you are a returning subscriber you guys know that i love you welcome 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 back so my usual disclaimer this video is strictly for educational purposes please do not go searching out the people that i talk about in this video don't send them any form of hate hate comment threats or violence this channel does not support any of that so today's video as you guys already saw in the title is going to be about the brick lady you know the woman who said she was hit in the head by a man with a brick because she refused to give him her phone number now this whole thing has been viral for over a week now and i did not speak about it initially because i was so upset and i have to admit that this is actually my second video that i'm making on this very topic but the first video that I made two days ago, I did not drop it because I realized that I was so overwhelmed by emotions and empathy for this woman that I did not necessarily, you know, get all the details and everything that is happening. So after making my first video in the process of editing and all of that, I discovered that new information was coming out on the issue and that first video was no longer relevant. So that's why I'm here making this second video, right? So now for those of you who might not know, there's this lady called Ro who made a video about a week ago i'm just going to go right ahead and play her video yo this man just hit me in my face with a brick and all these black men just watch and they don't it. give a fuck the brick is. yeah this, the man, is. this man hit me you fucking wood, grab the rock and it hit me in my face i would have given my number the brick and is. all y'all just fucking what you want to do? 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 I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face? Man, fuck all y'all niggas. Have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally a man asked me for my number, I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, what are you gonna do? And I told all these men like, yo, why is this man got a brick on my face? And he's he's holding a brick and all these niggas watch it and nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face and then they all just watch it. And they let that nigga get in the car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? That video, I'm not gonna lie, when I saw that video, I was so upset, I was so sad, and I think a lot of women on seeing that video felt the same way, you know, because we already know that violence against women is a thing. So it is natural for women to want to empathize, and a lot of women immediately took her side. Nobody was asking questions as to, okay, we need more details. What does the man in question who hit you with the brick look like? Nobody was even trying to identify the man in question who did this. No footage was leaked. Like, there was just nothing to go on. And a lot of people took that and ran with it. Because of the way she narrated the incident, it kind of put a spotlight on the men who were standing by, who witnessed the incident and did not do anything to protect her and that was when black men got dragged into all of this and black men were being bashed because in quote they do not protect black women you know they stood by and watched this happen so let me get this straight a black woman gets hit in the face with a brick for rejecting a man while a bunch of other men are standing around watching and y'all are trying to villainize her is it crack all day yesterday the men were on twitter talking about some what are we supposed to do? Risk our life for a stranger? Here y'all go making it about all men. If one bad man enacts violence upon a woman and 49 other men stand around watching, then we now have 50 bad men in the room. So here it is a black woman that got hit in the face with a brick by a black man while a group of black men stood around and did nothing. But then when that fight went down on the boat, y'all was looking at black people coming together, looking at black people coming together. What did I tell y'all when it ain't another black person? I told y'all black men is the weakest race of men in the world. I told y'all that, didn't y'all? I did not. Y'all prove me right every time. And then black men also had to come out to defend themselves. You see different black men coming out and making videos like this. Why record the men standing around? Why not just record the man that threw the brick? Why record? Why not just call the police? 
And I see this situation got a lot of ladies upset at the men that's standing around. But ladies, aren't y'all the ones that said y'all independent and y'all don't need a man's help for nothing? Make it make sense. 95, 97% of men will agree that this sister did not deserve to get hit with a brick. What a lot of us men are having an issue with is that she's blaming the black men that were standing around for not standing up for. And we would like to believe as a community that we're going to stand up for our women and stand up for our community. However, is the community going to stand up for that man when he's facing charges? Is Are they going to get lawyers for him? Is the community going to stand up for him and pay his hospital bills when he's injured for standing up for this woman? Is the community going to uh, make sure that his children are fed and his wife is fed uh, and taken care of because he's either in jail or he's dead or he's in the hospital for protecting this black woman that he doesn't know. That's something that we have to really think about. It's a very unfair burden to put on men to risk their lives, risk their livelihood, risk their children's health, their family's health for someone that they don't know. That's the reason why relationships are so important is because now there's a sense of obligation to provide and to protect. But does that man have an obligation to provide and protect for this particular woman? You can see that a lot of them are saying, why should we protect her? She's not my wife. She's not my sister. She's not my woman. You see some men also trying to go to the extent of trying to dig up videos about this woman's past trying to make it look like she has a questionable character which is probably why she was hit with the brick and maybe that she deserved it we got a shocker update hold on let me pick myself down to a little guy so the the girl that's trending right now that says she got hit in the face with a brick there's another video and other videos in this video i'm not going to show you the video you can go see it but in this video she walks up to a random white guy something and then slaps him and walks away and acts like she's a baddie, a super baddie, drops down, dips, shake her rump and everything. So basically she was out here acting up and then got hit with a brick allegedly. I don't condone hitting no woman with no brick at all. What we want to know is the whole story now. And then on the other hand, you have the group of people that are like, okay, we need more information to go off on. Like where is the actual proof? any you know footage can we see a footage can we see witnesses come out and stuff like that those ones were more logical than emotional right which i think was probably what we should have done we needed more to go off on at that moment so now another thing is this woman actually opened a gofundme and as at now that we're talking she has made over forty thousand dollars in donations because of this whole incident and then everything kind of escalated when a certain black man came out and made a video talking about how he was one of the men who stood by and watched this whole incident happen. I was one of the guys who was there that did not help her when she was getting hit with the brick, right? I feel like people need to know the whole story before they start commenting and say things they don't understand or they don't know. You guys don't even remember who you guys are trying to defend, who you guys are trying to speak up for. This is the same woman that was going around smacking white people in the streets. She's not innocent. She was actually taunting the guy to hit her. Why would I go defend somebody that's actually looking for trouble? This woman, she is literally a troublemaker. Everybody that knows her in our community knows she's a troublemaker. I'm not going to risk my life over somebody that's actually out there looking for trouble. If you go on social media, online, you're going to see some of her antic videos taunting people looking for a reaction what well, she got what she been looking for and you guys are giving her the attention that she was actually speaking for i don't regret not standing up for her if you look at some of the videos i was there now you see that man has been put to shame it is so shameful that he was exposed for lying the ex to the brick lady witness has spoke out and allegedly he, it happened in Houston. She say he lives in Nashville. He never was in Houston. And he did all of that talking, making up that story for clicks, likes, and views. Check this out. Seems like everybody looking for clout. But y'all cannot believe it, but the ex came out. Now this allegedly, I'm gonna show you, show you the proof. But she says 
he she just tired of the lies and she just wanted to put it out there she sent me the info and everything said he's making up everything was not in houston and he's doing it for clicks likes and views the things people will do for clouds the things people will do for clouds so at this point that is all the information that we knew but thanks to the online detectives you know a lot of people have taken it upon themselves to try and investigate further and a lot of information has been coming out that is suggesting that this might be a scam by the woman herself that her claims of being hit by a brick is all a lie now you guys i'm reporting on this you know from what i've seen online i'm just here reporting on this so now to discuss the reasons why people think it's a scam so they've actually been pictures and videos of this woman released when she actually arrived at the club i think it was a club in front of the club this whole thing happened so when she arrived there earlier that night she had a face mask she had a mask so people are suggesting that she already had that swelling before coming there that night and then when it was time for her to make the video she took off the mask and then made the video because she had it all planned out yo this man just hit me in my face and then people have also gone to the extent of bringing up her past situations where she has created gofundme and raised money as well so this is not the first time that she's doing this allegedly okay tiktok this is my last time talking about it black women do not come at me because we uncovered the truth let me piss myself down to a little guy if y'all was on our live last night y'all would have saw the investigation we did the uh, surveillance we did the phone calls we made the people we talked to only to discover this was all a hoax now her injuries were real we still don't know how she got the injuries but according to her it was the brick but um after contacting the police the internet contacted the police the police has no report of the incident after the venue owner right there where it happened checked all of his surveillance cameras he alleges nothing like this ever happened that she just came out of nowhere with all these accusations the guys that were standing around in this video says they never saw the incident. They just heard her screaming and yelling and yapping and they called the police. She was out there acting crazy and, and ridiculous and they just said they left when the police got there. But they never saw anybody hit her with the brick. So long story short, this woman does a lot for views likes and gofundmes go look at her gofundme history go look at her viral history she does whatever she can to get viral and the internet is believing that she did sustain real injuries somehow but she used that to make money and to gain fame through uh viral videos and she knew it would work if she blamed black men and look what happened Black women lost their mind. They, all, they just start bashing black men all across the world because we're trying to hold her accountable like we did Carly Russell. I lost over 300 followers over Carly Russell only to find out we was right. I lost over 200 followers because of this woman only to find out we was right. The fact that nobody is questioning the fact that this woman deleted her TikTok, privatized her Instagram, hasn't posted an update on her face on Instagram, but has garnered almost $50,000 in six days? That's a little weird to me. Nobody's questioning her, despite the fact that she did this in 2020, did it a little more subtly in 2022, and now again in 2023, nobody's questioning it. Well, people are saying that she has scammed everyone because one, people from the medical field has stated that her injuries do not consist of someone who got hit with a brick, but someone with an allergic reaction. And this is the allergic reaction that people are stating is what caused it. So now, amidst all of this investigation and gender wars and the uproar and, you know, everything happening on the internet, she has not come out to provide receipts. Like, she's been mute. So, at this point, even people who are fighting so hard to believe and defend her are left with nothing to really fight back with. Like, girl, we were riding so hard for you. A lot of women were riding so hard for you, but now we don't even know what to say anymore because it's not really looking good and now on the part of the women i can understand why women wrote so hard for her because 
violence against women like i said before is an actual thing just a few months ago there was this news about an indian girl who was on a life a 16 year old actually by her boyfriend for simply ending their relationship and recently there was a whole thing that happened in south africa about a south african woman that was hit in the head with a brick for also turning down a man's advances and in her case she actually lost one of her eyes there's a story that i feel needs to get as much coverage as the brick lady a 24 year old south african woman in cape town was assaulted by a man because she didn't want to engage with him or even talk to him because she told him i'm with my boyfriend and this man decided that no he's entitled to her space her body and this man ended up assaulting her to a point where she's now having to live her life with one eye so that is why it was easy for a lot of women to believe this even without asking for proof or whatever i was one of those women now to even let you guys in on something i had a whole argument with my boyfriend based on this because when i was talking about it i was so passionate i was triggered and he told me babe as a man i'm going to tell you no man is just going to pick up a brick and hit a woman in the face for saying no i don't want to give you my number there has to be more to that story and i was like no there doesn't have to be more to that story men do this all the time and this and that and that so i am one of those women that will say please come out and let us know if this is true at this moment you cannot stay silent because it's looking really bad but then let me put my emotions aside and just talk about the things that this whole situation has brought to light for me the first thing i'm going to say is that this situation actually exposed misogyny now we know that misogyny is an actual thing so the fact that before a lot of people could empathize with this woman what they did was to go online and search out videos of her to make her look bad or make it look like she deserved it i'm like why why victim blaming what's the reason for that the second thing is if you are a bystander at the scene of a crime just like the woman said in that video where men were watching while this was happening you are wrong in any situation whereby you are standing and you're watching your fellow human being be in a situation of danger and they need help and you stand by and choose not to do anything you are wrong now i understand how you could want to be careful because you, you might be putting yourself in danger by intervening but there's always a way to go about these things you can call 911 you can band with all the other people that are there because there's strength in numbers you can cause a distraction to the person that is perpetrating the act of violence there are just so many things that you can do you can offer comfort to the victim there are so many things that you can do in that moment but choosing to stand by idly is wrong then the next thing that i want to say is a lot of the men were saying women say they are independent they don't need a man so why do you guys want us to protect you in situations like this so the question i want to ask is is it hypocritical to say we don't need men we're strong enough we're independent we're this and that and then on the other hand we turn around in a situation like this and say you guys didn't help me you didn't protect me is it hypocritical to say you don't need a man but still expect protection from men that's another question so you guys let me know what you think at this point i empathize with her but the fact that she has not said anything at this moment doesn't look good so i guess we are going to watch how it unfolds you guys let me know what you think about this whole situation in the comment section if you know any information that i didn't state in this video please drop it in the comment section as well let's have a discussion anyway you guys let me know what you think in the comment section please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you guys in my next video bye